Welcome to the Tabletop Simulator tutorial series. I'm Kimiko from Berserk Games and this episode is all about the Steam Workshop. This video will go over the basics of the workshop and show you how to upload your own custom content that you learned in the last video. So what is the workshop? If you don't already know, the Steam Workshop is an area where the community really gets involved, coming up with fantastic and creative ideas to share with everyone else. This is the place where you upload your mods or download them for free. You can make your mods available to the public, for friends only, or even just for yourself. It's up to you! In the custom content video, I went over how you can import your assets into the game for yourself to use. Now I'll show you how you can take those items you created and upload them to the workshop for everyone else to play with. To upload your mod to the workshop, click on Menu and then Workshop Upload. Read through everything carefully and then begin to input what you want. In the title box, put the title of your gamer mod. In this case, I'm entering in the name of the original game I created. Next, enter in the description of your mod. This section is where you want to give the most information about your mod. You want to give as much detail about it as possible so people understand what it's all about. What are the rules? How do you win? All that good stuff. You can also use this section to give credit where credit is due. If you don't fill this in now, you can edit it later. Just remember that the more detailed info you give, the better for everyone all around and the more likely someone will want to play your games. In the next section, you want to enter in the URL to your thumbnail image of your mod. Since our last videos, we added in a file browser so you now have more options when it comes to importing your images. You can either upload your files to an external site and input the URL in this box, or you can press the file folder icon for more options. This will bring up a file browser in which you can import images directly from your computer. Choose your image and either double click it or press the open button. You will get a pop-up box asking if you'd like to load it from your local disk or upload it to your Steam Cloud. In this case, you want to choose the cloud option since local is intended for private use, meaning it's not used in multiplayer. If you don't put in an image, you will get an error and the mod won't upload, so don't forget this step. And finally, check mark the game type for your mod and how many people can play it. Please don't mark every single checkbox unless it applies to your particular game as we want to ensure people can find the types of games that they are searching for. Click the upload button and your mod will now be imported. It may take a few moments for it to fully upload, so be patient. Once complete, you will receive a pop-up box letting you know your upload was successful. You will also receive a 9-digit workshop ID. If you missed it, just look for your mod in your profile as the digits are found in the URL of your mod. You will need this when you want to update your mod. Let's go check out our mod in the workshop. Since it's currently hidden, you can do a final check and make any last minute changes. Here you can see I can edit the title and description and add any videos or images to my mod. Add as much info, screenshots, and rules to your mod as people are more likely to subscribe if it's well done with detailed information. You can also add any contributors that helped you create the mod as well as add any of your social media links. And if you decide you no longer wish to update or have your mod public, you can either make it hidden or just delete it altogether. Once you're ready to make it public, you can change the visibility either to friends only or to the general public. Let's say you wanted to add some new things to your game. Or maybe you decided something just didn't look right. Just load up your game, make your changes or add in new items, and when you're ready, you can update the mod for all of your subscribers. Now, click on the Workshop Upload link and go to the Update Workshop tab. Only the Workshop ID is the required input. It's not necessary to fill out any of the other options unless you plan on making any changes from before. As long as you use the same workshop ID, your mod will be updated to reflect your changes. You can also make text changes on your actual workshop page, but tags will have to be updated in-game. Subscribing to mods in the workshop is very easy. You can sort by game type and number of players. This is why when creating a mod, it's very important to put the correct tag of your mod to make it easier for people to find the games they are looking for. Once you find the mods you are interested in, you can either click on the mods page to read the description and subscribe there, or you can hover over each mod and click the green plus sign button. If you are already subscribed to it, it will have a check mark underneath the image. You can unsubscribe to mods the same way you subscribed, however they will still show up in game, just won't be updated. 
To both delete and unsubscribe to a mod, just go to the workshop menu in game, hover over the mod you wish to remove, and click on the trash can icon that pops up on the left side. If you find a mod and you want to improve on it for your own personal use, you can set it up with your own additions and just save it. Click on Menu, Save Game, and name it whatever you'd like. Please do not, however, re-upload it to the workshop and call it your own. If you just want a particular piece or two from the subscribed mod, you can right-click on the object and click Save to Chest. Now you can just add that particular object to whatever game you are playing without opening up the entire mod from the workshop. Another thing you can do is hover over a mod in the workshop menu and an arrow will show up on the right. Click on that arrow and a list of the items in the mod will show up. Just drag and drop the items you like into your personal game. Keep in mind that unless the original model named the files, they may just show up as generic or as custom model. And that about covers everything in this tutorial. I hope you found it informative and learned something new about the workshop. This is also the final episode in this tutorial series. However, since we have added a lot more content since our introduction video, I'll be doing a couple bonus videos to go over some of the new features, as well as showcase the different features in the UI and anything else we have missed. Another thing is that we have added a knowledge base on our website. The link is in the description below, so be sure to check it out. There are a lot of individual articles that may be easier to read as opposed to looking for them in the videos, or they might not be in these videos at all, so I highly recommend checking it out. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you next time!